The Fujifilm X100V. I don't think I have to introduce this camera. By now, even those super traditional tribes living in isolation in the jungle somewhere have heard about this camera. All you need to know is it has a fixed 35mm equivalent lens, a hybrid optical viewfinder, and a body so sexy that even Ryan Reynolds has trouble keeping up. This camera has been so unbelievably hyped the past three years that even my little sister, who doesn't know squat about cameras, told me, make a video about the X100V. <laughs> well, I finally got my hands on one, and what better way to test a camera than a road trip to the beautiful Swiss Alps. The first day here actually contained no photography at all, because we went snowboarding. By the way, my partner in crime on this trip is Yannick. Hello, hello, yeah, yeah, yeah. The last time I was on a snowboard was eight years ago, so this day went about as well as you would expect. <laughs> The next day was supposed to be another snowboarding day, but my right knee and leg were pretty swollen from shredding the day before, so I decided to go on a hike while Yannick spent the day actually on the snowboard and not just beneath it like me. <laughs> I started off from our Airbnb in the town center of Grindelwald and first headed towards this beautiful church. The sun was shining, the weather was amazing, and I was so pumped to go on a hike and find a good view. I've been walking for a bit already, but I haven't really made it far because I keep stopping to film and take photos and everything and I've been on my way for one hour and 40 minutes and I've made it 3.5 kilometers, so not very far at all. <laughs> okay, I just had lunch without a view because there's, uh, it's just trees, the view is behind there, you're just, you're just gonna have to trust me. What had started out as a beautiful sunny day had unfortunately turned into a very grey mush which limited visibility and generally there were a lot of trees surrounding me so I didn't have much of a view. But that's what drones are for, right? <laughs> Thank you.
I'm gonna be honest, I'm not very happy with the shots I got on this day. They're all a bit meh, the lighting turned very flat, and I never reached a good vantage point. I'd say Cloud Cover definitely won today. You might be asking yourself why is he making a video about the X100V while the entire internet is talking about the X106. Well, while I was on this trip, pre-orders for the X106 went live, and of course, I had to make a decision I will never financially recover from. So, if you're interested in my X106 review soon, you don't even have to subscribe. When the video goes live, I'm just gonna open the window and yell really loud. The next day the plan was to take a gondola up to where we went snowboarding, but this time bring some camera gear. And the conditions were absolutely perfect. We were blessed with super sunny weather, a few low hanging clouds in the breathtaking mountains on the other side of the valley, and visibility so good you could look into the future. Wait, what's that? We spent some time on this cliff walk thing, which is basically just a metal path they rammed into the side of the mountain so you can have the fun experience of standing on something that is more holes than it is floor, with a very large drop beneath it. Unfortunately, the cliff walk was pretty crowded and we didn't even bother walking to the end where you could stand on the edge of this thing and fear for your life some more. <laughs> Instead, we decided to hike for a bit. Well, hike is a strong word, it was more of a leisurely stroll. Hello, keep you waving Time to turn the pages Tell me what you're waiting for New beginning Hello, open window Shining through to my soul I couldn't dream it anymore New beginning An interesting thing happens when you go hiking high up in the mountains, at least I always do it, and that's always photographing the same thing. When you're hiking pretty high up there aren't any trees or anything and you can walk for hours without the view changing much. So what ends up happening is I walk a bit, look up, think wow that's a great view and then I take a photo of it, then I walk a bit more, I look up think, wow, that's a great view, take another photo, and that just goes on forever. And at the end of the day, I have like hundreds of photos of the exact same mountain, and deciding on the best one is basically impossible. I also took a few shots with the Sony a7 IV that I mostly brought for filming, but I ended up with a few images I really like. I'm especially happy with this one. I feel like at first this shot feels a bit mediocre, but once you see this house on the bottom to the right, it puts the entire scene into perspective. By the way, all of the images in this video are edited with my analog vibes and disposable vibes Lightroom preset packs. You can get a bundle with both packs for a heavy discount at the link down below. Not only will that give you those sweet film tones with the press of a button in Lightroom, but also support me so I can continue making these videos about, let's face it, photography shenanigans. <laughs> the conditions up here really were perfect, and I think this time I get a point versus cloud cover. The sun started to get a bit lower and we headed back towards the station so we wouldn't miss the last gondola down. We reached the station with about 10 minutes to spare and then I realized this was the perfect opportunity to take a photo on the cliff walk because it was a lot less crowded than before.
While we were on the gondola back down, it looked like we might get a really good sunset. Unfortunately, cloud cover rolled in super quickly once again, and the sun just ceased to exist. I sent the drone up anyways, but I knew that cloud cover had once again denied me some bangers. Wir laufen hier, ne? Ja. Und du? Nervös sind wir nicht? Ja. Sicher? Ja. Okay. Ja. <lacht> ja, eindeutig. Sie mag mich. Ich kann katzisch. Wie bewertest du die Bahn? Oh, die Bahn, ey. Ist Hightech, junge, gemütlich, Rücken, Schmerzen. Minus 30, würde ich sagen. <lacht> ja, Nick, ich glaube, auf diesen Sitz hat jemand drauf gekagert. Uh, stop, drop, pull it up and spin it. Everybody's got a little G-Funk in them. I was staring through the glass with a grin on my face. A cold night, a little October night, a year. Clap, clap. Once we were on the mountain and started the hike we had planned, we realized that progress was gonna be slow. This was one of the only designated winter hiking trails that was open and somewhere online we had read that it was supposed to be pretty flat, but it was pretty steep in some parts and super slippery. We were basically inching down a lot of sections that were just ice and snow trying not to fall. Well, that was until we put our two room temperature IQ brains together and thought of an alternative mode of transportation. It pains me to admit, but I think cloud cover gets another point, because there was a thick layer of clouds right above us, hiding most of the peaks the entire day. But it did make all of the shots pretty moody. After putting our limited brain capacity to use once again, we decided we didn't want to take the railway down, and found another alternative mode of transportation. This was super fun, but also quite sketchy at times, because the ground was just pure ice in a lot of places. I only have this one clip of Yannick, which was at a pretty slow spot, but the were parts of the route where you got extremely fast and you had to do your best to 
steer around corners so you wouldn't go off a cliff. I wish I had brought the GoPro for this. Back down in the valley, surprisingly the cloud cover that had stayed constant the entire day started to clear and we were finally blessed with the sunset. I'm just gonna give myself 10 points for this one because I made up the rules anyways and I want to win in the end. This was the day we had to leave unfortunately. Apparently we were so good at sliding on our butts the day before that we simultaneously offended the freestyle ski olympic team and broke the Geneva convention, so we were asked to leave. But not before one last photography hurrah one valley over in Lauterbrunnen. But that's what we do. Okay, it's time I finally shared my thoughts on the Fujifilm X100V after using it this entire trip. I'm gonna be honest, I was wrong about this camera. While everybody on the internet and their cat was trying to get their paws on one of these, I never really got the hype. I always thought, why would I buy the X100V used at a markup when I can get a camera that has the same sensor for about half the money. I even made a video about that. And even if money wasn't an issue, I still thought I wouldn't enjoy using this camera because the main features it offers didn't speak to me. First, I thought the fixed 35mm equivalent lens was too wide for me. I've always struggled with anything wider than 40. Secondly, I thought the optical viewfinder wasn't for me because when I used it on the X-Pro1, the offset between what you see through the viewfinder and what you see through the lens really threw me off. But on this trip, actually using the X100V for for a week made me forget all of those concerns. The 35mm equivalent lens, which usually always felt too wide for me, surprisingly felt perfect in this environment. And I think I got off on the wrong foot with the optical viewfinder on the X-Pro1, because there I tried to shoot architecture and in low light, and that's just not where the optical viewfinder shines. Here, outdoors, where you're mainly taking photos of the broader environment, the optical viewfinder is awesome. I don't think I used the electronic viewfinder a single time on this entire trip. Some people believe the Fujifilm X100V has some sort of magic in it that makes everything look like film. That's definitely not the case. I've made entire videos on how to get the film look with any camera. The X100V doesn't have any secret sauce in it. What makes this camera special and so damn fun isn't what's inside the camera, it's the whole package and the unique user experience it offers. I'll admit I knocked it before I ever tried it, which was stupid because this is a great camera and I can't wait to go home and pick up the X106 I've pre-ordered. Let's just hope this car turns on.